Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick video on how to test out the Prestolite uh, distributor on your OMC Cobra. Pretty easy uh, once you see how to, to test in it. Just to let you know inside this distributor you got your cap, you have your rotor, we'll look at that here momentarily. And then um, what makes it kind of unique is there is an electronic pickup. Now this uh, electronic pickup when it goes off uh, or goes out in, in some cases um, you're going to find that you are no longer able to start your engine because it can't sense uh, which cylinder to fire on here. So I'm going to show you uh, really easily how to test and diagnose everything. Um, you're going to need a Phillips and a half inch uh, socket to diagnose this. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is we are going to loosen up the cap. There are you look right there there's actually two Phillip uh, screws go ahead and loosen those that'll help loosen up your cap okay so I went ahead and loosened up both of those Phillip screws you can uh, at that point let's go ahead and give your distributor cap a little wiggle and you will see the rotor now some people may want to go the the added distance to take your cap off um, you may want to take this time if you're if you're in a situation where you need to test your um, electronic pickup down there probably wouldn't hurt to be a good time to replace your cap um, one thing that's unique about these is they do have a little waterproof seal and you want to kind of look in there and see if you see any kind of corrosion this cap here is uh, not very old it may have I'd say 20 hours on it so in my case, I'm not really going to, to make any replacement on this one here. But uh, yeah, if you're, if you're thinking about looking at your uh, pickup, if you think it's bad, uh, it's probably a good idea as well to replace your cap and rotor just because of the age. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to replace it because it's brand new. Wires are brand new, rotors brand new. I'm just here to show you how to test out the, the pickup. So you can kind of put this aside and you'll see your rotor in there and then kind of deep down in here you will see your pickup okay so you want to go ahead first and remove your cap there so your um, pickup let me see here do something to point with so you guys can see a little bit easier. Your electronic pickup is this guy right here. Now this device is what energizes when you have your coil on. So when this energizes and every time one of these, there's eight of them across this little rod here and every time one of these lines up approximately right where that line is. It tells the pickup, fire, fire on that cylinder. All right. Um, so if you're thinking your Presolite uh, distributor, uh, in this case, the pickup, which is unique to this distributor, and just to let you guys know, they do not make this anymore. So if you're gonna um, wanna convert to a different type of pickup because yours is bad after you've, you run through this test, I'll uh, send you a link on what model that you need to change over to in order to uh, convert out of this one. But they don't make this anymore, just to let you know. So um, let's continue on here. But anyway, so every time one of these, two, three, all the way around, eight, lines up here, it's going to fire. All right, so what we're gonna do is you wanna test is your electronic pickup working? And the easiest way to test is you gotta first energize your coil, meaning you need to turn the key over. We're not gonna do that quite yet. Um, we're gonna pause for a minute and we're gonna make some markings on the distributor. Okay, so you'll see in here, I've already made a mark on the distributor so you can kinda of see where it was before. I also have access to a timing gun, so um, me replacing and retiming everything on this really isn't a big deal but for those who aren't comfortable you know using a timing gun uh, go ahead and make a mark you'll see like I said 
the timing mark, or sorry, the uh, distributor mark I made. One right here and then one on the base. Uh, make sure it also extends down to where the block is right there. So, this way you want to put everything back together afterwards, it, it won't be so difficult. And as I said earlier, um, that bolt right, right there is your half inch bolt. So first start off by loosening it. Don't take it all out. Just get in there and loosen it. You can use a, uh, a socket or you know whatever you got that's half inch to get in there. Uh, make sure your, your engine isn't running. I know this is an obvious thing at this point, but don't, don't put your, your hand in this area if the engine's running. If, if your engine's running at this point, we all have problems. But um, yeah, go ahead, just like that. I mean, you don't have to, if it loosened up like that, how I did, and, it, and the, the bolt kind of freely turned, you're, you're in good shape, all right? So that's all you gotta do. You don't have to, to do anything else on it. Um, the next step you're gonna do is uh, move back towards the top, and I'll show you what we're gonna do there. Okay, so we're back on the top, right? So what you're gonna do is you're going to hold the base and remember, let me use my screwdriver so you all can see, if your pickup is working correctly, every time one of these notches lines up to that line right there, you're gonna hear a snap. That's gonna tell you that your electronic pickup is working properly. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and have my assistant um, turn the key on, which is gonna power up the coil. All right, so the coil is now hot. I'm going to grab the base of the distributor, which is now loose, and you can turn it clockwise, counterclockwise. Really doesn't matter for this test. We're just going to do this so you can kind of hear and I'm going to be extra quiet now so you can hear the pickup sound every time it makes a, a contact. Okay, you probably heard the two clicks. All right, let's try it again. This time we're going to go the other way. All right, you heard the click. All right, let's do it a few more times. This time I'm not going to make any audible sounds. I'm just going to move it clockwise and then counterclockwise. Listen for the snap. All right. Pretty easy, right? That's how you tell if your electronic pickup is working. Okay, everybody. So that's... Okay. So that's how you test your pressure light distributor. Uh, just keep in mind, if you didn't hear the snapping noise, um, then yeah, your your pickup is definitely definitely toast. Um, there is um, there is something else I wanted to mention too. Down here is a little screw. If at some point in time you had been uh, tinkering with this before watching the video, and then you decided that um, you know you you wanted to see what <laughs> what you did wrong, um, chances are you may have removed this. This will actually swing open like a gate. And you, ha you actually have to have a filler gauge in between here. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, measurement is. If someone runs into this, let me know. I'll tell you what the, what the actual distance needs to be between the electronic pickup and these little notches here. Um, just let me know, guys, if, if you need that kind of assistance. I, I do have it written down somewhere. I just don't have it handy right now. But there is a specific distance between the electronic pickup and that notch. It's very thin. Some people will use um, a business card but uh, ultimately, to get the proper results in Spark, you need to use the uh, proper filler gauge. So anyway, I uh, hope that helped. And, uh, you know, to put everything back together, I'll show you real quick. Pretty easy. All right. So I'm going to go back under here and tighten my distributor back down. Pretty easy here, but... Not so easy when you're uh, using a camera. But anyway, just reach in here. Tighten it by hand first. All 
All right. Make it nice and snug, guys, because uh, you don't want your timing to jump as a result of mishandling that. So, yeah, pretty easy, right? Okay, and then just take your cap, line up your screws on that side. Both sides, right, just like that. Tighten that cap down. But I know what you guys are saying. You can't put your cap down without the rotor. Ha, I figured it out as I was recording this. So pretty easy, right? Um, pop your cap back up. But I guarantee you some of you guys are going to forget to put your cap back on. And uh, pretty easy fix, right? Just go ahead and pop it back off. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I don't know, video is what, like 10 minutes to go over everything. I hope that was easy. hope you guys learned something. That's your Presto Light how to uh, test if it's bad. Like I said, do you need anything else? Let me know. Comment, subscribe. You know the works. Have a good one.